that you're announcing is that as an educator, and I've been an educator for 18 years now, I find the ratio to male to female in most art classes are about 10 to 1 female to male. It surprises me that nothing has changed over the 18 years I've been teaching um, in the art world when so many females are taking art classes and motivated and doing creative things and putting themselves out there and then what? And then the one male in the room is the one who continues because he begins to make money and gets shown. <laughs> Uh uh, if you're not having at least 40% women, not even, it's usually 20%, and the higher up you go, it gets more like 5 or 6%. Museum of Modern Art and the Permanent Collection had, I think, 96% men, 4% women, until picketing and marching and all kinds of stuff went on, and I think now it's. Is it 10%? I don't even think it's 10%. So what is the difference? What makes a victim a survivor and what keeps a victim a victim? Like that's how we look at the hair is okay. <laughs> the thing, um, This particular scarves, they're called buras, and yes. they uh, and it sets that out a little in the in some of the materials on this work. Mm -hmm. And it's only worn by men, these white scarves. Yep. And so um, and, in Bhutan. And so this is um, to use these sort of, you know, symbol of, of male and then put these huge portraits of survivor and uh, victim and survivor yeah. on the pieces has another layer of meaning by the materials that they're that it's placed on. Um, no women wear them and, and actually there's no pattern. They're always white. Mm -hmm. um, and we were talking about safety work. So which is the work that women go through every single day to prevent yeah. assaults, to prevent being catcalled, to <coughs> like wearing in your headphones. When you go to maybe a guy will try to talk to me. Yeah. Or um, thinking about how you wear your hair. Like I've read resources where they're like, don't wear a ponytail, maybe because you can be grabbed by right. a ponytail. And like all of these different prevention methods that women go through every day, but men are not taught the same thing. That's and right. men are not taught how to recognize within other males whether their friend looks as though they might commit assault. Yeah. And how to prevent that. Or even a conversation, if somebody's talking about women or a woman specifically a way mm -hmm. to kind of get around like that's not appropriate banter, you know. And yeah. Yeah. And even within the running community, we've had that where like my husband will go and run in this park and it's out in the middle of nowhere, I'm not going out there. And he's like, it's so pretty. And I said, but there's nothing out there. And I'm thinking about what if I get assaulted and drive off into the bushes? But if I run in town on the sidewalks where things are, yeah. I can scream. I got great protection, you know. And he, he's like, oh my gosh, I, I never thought of that. And I'm like, yeah, you don't have to. You're got Yeah. Yeah, and, and often the, the silence, uh, the surviving is the silence. Um, because as you can read all over the newspapers and um, online and everything, you know, of the... I am here today not because I want to be. I am terrified. I am here because I believe it is my civic duty to tell you what happened to me while Brett Kavanaugh and I were in high school. 
I have described the events publicly before. I summarized them in my letter to Ranking Member Feinstein and again in a letter to Chairman Grassley. I understand and appreciate the importance of your hearing from me directly about what happened to me and the impact that it has had on my life and on my family. Walk around the gallery, look for art or specific artworks that resonate with you. You determine which artwork this is, focus on its design, colors, and textures. Walk around the artwork, view the art from extremely up close, and then walk away and view the art from a further distance. Find a place in the room to close your eyes and visualize the artwork in your mind. Reimagine the details, colors, and textures. I saw the universe as a massive canvas, and I was part of the design. As tiny as that made me feel, I also felt significant, like art was on display for me, and I desperately wanted to share this experience with others, and I knew that art could be the way. Art was a miracle. It re-energized me. It gave me hope and a reason to come back down to earth and connect with others. Art brings out the perks of my perception. It 
amplifies the greatest of all senses, the sense of awe. The way light and shadows play together really inspires me. It's like music to my eyes. A life without art is a life without awe, which is no life at all. Your art piece has generated a lot of feelings in me, but there is a certain mystery about your art piece, something I am not able to decipher. It is very beautiful, yet there is something inherently sad about it. The true meaning of the art is not clear to me, but it has generated a reaction. Dear colors, you are an explosion. Colors burst from you like lightning in a storm. You remind me of evenings spent watching the sky before a storm, how everything changed from pink to yellow to gray, how the air was saturated with moisture and spark. You are chaos and structure, softness and tightness. You reflect as a storm that we feel within ourselves, harsh, vibrant emotion camouflage behind fog, reaching out, Thank you for showing your power. My dearest, you are damaged. You hide yourself in shame and use colorful distractions to shift the spotlight off of yourself. You are not perfect and will never be. No one is. It is only up to you to find your inner beauty. Once you achieve this feat, your inner beauty will match your outer. Be proud of who you really are. Dear Masked One, Cracks are a part of life. Your brightly colored mask shielding your eyes and your title made me feel sad. Your tapestry, your medium, your material shows your strength. Let life in and do not worry about your cracks because they make you who you are. Who gets to be an artist, you know, where and when, and, um, and, and what does that mean? So how did you feel? To the structure, common yet unique, hello. To the spaces in between, hello. To the shadows, hello. To the supports, hi. <laughs> to the light itself, hey there. To each of you, I see you. To all of you together, I love you. Who are you? Who are you? What are you thinking? Your head and heart and <clears throat> being and lungs have become stone. I don't know what you're thinking, but your arms are crossed. I don't think you're looking at me. You seem insecure, maybe sad, but maybe, I'm wrong, maybe your arms are crossed in defense and defiance. Maybe your stone skin is impossible to penetrate. Where are you? Somewhere gray, somewhere lost, somewhere peaceful? I'd love to know, but I'm not sure I meant to. Either way, I wish you well. With love, Brooke. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it has to be this research about that, actually. Yeah. Um, letter, let her, leather, lead heater. <clears throat> there are so many things weighing you down. It will be okay. I know there is a disconnect, but don't keep your thoughts so solid and unchanging. The world is colorful. Be proud and persevere. 
Walking into a gallery and taking a quick glance around. This is a first impression. Our first impression includes things like how the art looks visually, how well it is done, and what it reminds us of and how it makes us feel. We examine certain pieces with more focus, analyzing small details and judging technique and style. People wake up every day and prepare to place themselves on a gallery wall. They know they'll be watched, they know they'll be studied, and they know they'll be judged, all in their appearance. Makeup is a tool used to either enhance one's features or change them visually. Some wake up every day and spend 15 minutes drawing their eyebrows on simply because they look too light or don't have a good shape. Others wrap their eyes in eyeliner with the goal to make them look bigger because they feel their eyes are too small. People cover blemishes regularly because they'd rather make the spots worse than allow anyone to see them with their natural skin. Humanity has been judged for years and continues to be judged today. The action of applying makeup is not something done to impress others. Makeup application is an art form in itself. It can be used for creative expression, entertainment, and to promote self-confidence. True beauty comes from when you yourself feel beautiful, however that may be. Feminism, by definition, is the belief that men and women should have equal rights and opportunities. It is the theory of the political, economic, and social equality of the sexes. I started questioning gender-based assumptions a long time ago. When I was eight, I was confused at being called bossy because I wanted to direct the plays that we would put on for our parents. But the boys were not. When at 14, I started to be sexualized by certain elements of the media. When at 15, my girlfriends started dropping out of their beloved sports teams because they didn't want to appear muscly. When at 18, my male friends were unable to express their feelings. I decided that I was a feminist, and this seemed uncomplicated to me. But my recent research has shown me that feminism has become an unpopular word. Women are choosing not to identify as feminist. Apparently, I am among the ranks of women whose expressions are seen as too strong, too aggressive, isolating, and anti-men, unattractive even. Why has the word become such an uncomfortable one? I am from Britain, and I think it is right that I am paid the same as my male counterparts. I think it is right that I should be able to make decisions about my own body. I think it is right that women be involved on my behalf in the policies and the decisions that will affect my life. I think it is right that socially I am afforded the same respect as men. But sadly, I can say that there is no one country in the world where all women can expect to receive these rights. 
no country in the world can yet say that they have achieved gender equality. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>